Hello, my name is Marion from Miss Mustard Seed. And I'm Christy from Rosemary and Thyme. And today I'm gonna to talk about the Tough Coat, which is um, a Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint product, and it's one of our newest ones. And there have been a lot of questions about when do I use it? Do I put it on top of the hemp oil or on top of the wax? And it's been a little confusing. So um, we're gonna use it, and um, I'm gonna talk through what I like to use it for. So first of all, a tough coat is actually a top coat. It is not, um, you don't use it with the hemp oil or with the wax, it's instead of. It's sort okay. of an either or thing. So it's just another option. And the reason why we brought out the tough coat is because some people don't like oils and waxes, even though those are my favorite finishes. Um, they provide sort of a softer, more natural looking finish. Some people want something a little bit more substantial. Right. right. So that's what the, the tough coat is. Um, so let's go ahead and use it and I'll talk through how I like to use it. Okay. So it comes in a little squeeze bottle and we're going to, I always squirt it out into a cup or you know, a little bowl or something. And since you do have to squeeze it out of the container, you wanna try to just squeeze out what you need so you don't have excess that you're then gonna pour back into the bottle and maybe it can contaminate what's yeah. in there. So try to just pour out what you need. Just what you need. Exactly. So this is a board, a raw wood board that we painted in milk paint. So you can go ahead and put your brush in and start brushing it on. Now, for the tough coat, did you get enough in there to get it yeah. on? Okay. So for the tough coat, I prefer to use a brush that has synthetic bristles and that's a high quality brush because that does make a difference with brush strokes. When you use a natural bristle brush, mm -hmm. um, I feel like sometimes you you just end up with a little bit more brush strokes for, gotcha. for this product. Um, and with the tough coat, how you're kind of brushing back and forth, mm -hmm. that's okay, but you wanna try to lay it on and just okay leave it alone yeah leave it alone okay. a little bit more i mean you can brush back over it but the more you brush over it the more brush strokes you might end up with okay. so it's not like it's much more like a nail polish gotcha. that'll sit on top <laughs> right versus the oils and the waxes that are like a lotion that you want to really soak in exactly you want to really work it in so so you've used the waxes and the hemp oils right so what's right. Can you tell me, like, what do you think the difference is um, well, in I, how this looks? Yeah, I think, like you said, I was looking for it to kind of sink in, and it doesn't really do that. It just, like, sits, like, right on top of it. Um, and it, it is a little bit, of course, it hasn't dried yet, but it is a little bit shinier and mm -hmm. just more of kind of like a lacquer look rather than yeah. that natural kind of surface. Yeah, and there are, you do see some brush strokes, which with the hemp oil and the wax, you don't have any brush right. strokes because right. it soaks in. Right. So you need to be mindful as you're applying this finish that using a quality brush or even a fine foam roller, um, spraying it is even better because oh, okay. that's going to give you a nice finish without any brush strokes. Right. So right. this would be much better to put through a sprayer than brushing it on. So if you um, are gonna be really bothered by the brush strokes, this might not be a good finish for you because this is harder to apply in a way that you know has this nice smooth appearance. Um, waxes and oils are much more user friendly when it comes to that. So since waxes and oils are my preference for finishes, <laughs> I don't use this as a top coat. The way I use it is, first of all, we have, we, I'm sure we've all painted those pieces that are sort of that red wood. Yeah. You paint it white, you're like, oh, I want it to look cottage, bleed through. Right. <laughs> and then it's like pink or like blotchy pink um, or yellow, like yellow pine will stain through. Um, so I like to use a tough coat as a sealer. So I'll, we'll brush it on first. And I had you do that right. for some of the Chapel yep. Market pieces. Um, Christy just sort of brushed it on the piece and then we painted it with milk paint without the bonding agent added. Milk paint stuck to it just fine and then um, it, it actually did seal it. And we really put it to the test. We painted a, a white Victorian settee that was very red, you know, 
in appearance the wood yeah. was and we had bleed through only in a couple places yep. where it coated just fine yeah where the tough coat wasn't right. so we just touched it up mm -hmm. with um, with the tough coat reapplied the milk paint right. and then it didn't bleed through the other place that's nice to use a tough coat is when you have too much chipping so that's a common problem okay. too like I've painted this piece with milk paint, it's chipping, and I love the way it looks now, but I'm afraid it's just gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. So Tough Coat is a finish that will actually like harden and keep the paint on the piece. So I like to use it in those cases as well. Okay. Now, I would not put wax over it. I wouldn't put hemp oil over it. You don't need to use you know them all together, just one or the other. Um, so that's the Tough Coat. It is water-based, so you just use it, it's not stinky or anything like that. Right. So along with our other products, you can use it inside. So that's a nice feature as well. But I hope that answers some questions and clears up how and when to use the Tough Coat. bleed through only in a couple places yep. where it coated just fine yeah where the tough coat wasn't so we just touched it up and then let's can we cut that and because there was a huge <laughs> truck <laughs> okay um all right so we just touched it up with um with the tough coat reapplied the milk paint right. and then it didn't